Classical Pursuits is a, a dream I had uh, about 15 years ago to marry several of my great passions, and that's reading and travel. Our trips are, are not about passively looking at things, ticking them off a list. It's, it really is experiencing them, staying with a place, a person, long enough to let it wash over us, and then to share that experience with one another. Every trip has some things in common. Uh, one of them is, is discussion of a book or books that everybody has read and thought about ahead of time. Another part is kind of getting behind the scenes and going to places that are not typical tourist destinations, meeting local people, going into their homes, trying to understand from them better what the experience is of living there, often how they appreciate what we're reading. We love to eat, so there's a lot of good conversation that happens over meals. We look for good food, but we don't look for the sorts of places that you could find anywhere with a white, white tablecloth. Uh, we look for places that are um, special to the place where we are. So I think the, the, the marriage of the literature and the location, and I would also add art and music, it's mutually enriching. The idea of coming some wonderful, interesting, different place with, uh, that's centered around books and centered around reading and centered around intelligent guided discussion is for me pretty unique and extraordinarily successful. The guided discussion was spectacular and close reading is really, really important and um, they, they know how to do it. When we choose the literature for a trip in a particular destination, what I find happens is that the reading and the discussion is much more is enriched by being in on location. When we can go out and we can see the sites that are mentioned in the books, we can see the paths people walked. People feel and uh, take in the meaning of the book in a way they don't reading at home. As soon as I get here and start talking with the other people, I start to find out what great depth these books have and what great and interesting insights the others have had that can contribute to my understanding of the book. I've never left a Classical Pursuits uh, book discussion without tremendous respect for the author, the novel that we've read, and the participants in the group. I guess people go home surprised at themselves, surprised at how intellectually excited they've been and engaged, and they have made relationships that they sustain afterwards. The, the best reason for coming is uh, the, the people you meet. It's uh, un, in, uh, invariably a group of very warm, interesting people who have decided to have a vacation that is more than just a bus trip and uh, on the bus, off the bus, and what town are we in. This is uh, an experience in a location that uh, helps you to become a part of the location. If, if you're interested in a thoughtful vacation, that's the thing uh, that, that you'll, get, you'll, you'll get here. Uh, uh, it's not like a classroom in any way. You're not getting grades, no one's going to pass judgment uh, on your answers um, or your ideas. Uh, we'll make good use of those. So again, you're, you're safe, you're in a safe environment, and uh, I've yet to have anyone leave or not want to share in these discussions because they weren't up to it. It just hasn't happened. I ha I've, I've led these for 25 years in a variety of dis different situations and I've never had anyone leave uh, because they couldn't sort of jump that high. It just doesn't happen. It was a wonderful experience. I learned a lot. I met wonderful people. It was easy and comfortable and one of the greatest experiences of the last number of years of my life. The long and short of it is, I'm coming on another trip.